guys, this is Game of Cow. We are playing nothing in particular here except production, of course. And, well, that's how this level starts out. Yeah, we're playing World 6. It's Desert Town. There's a secret exit in here somewhere. There's chunks have got different color of armor on now. That's kind of cool, must admit. And you are going to be an absolute jerk, aren't you? Not really, because I just got past you like that instead. So this level appears to be, at the moment, a sort of pick your poison zone, and that is the direction I chose to take. So I hope that wasn't completely misplaced. I'm now going to go the upper route, because that's just confusing to everyone, and that's how we are going to play this. I actually don't know. Don't know why I'm going the top route now when I didn't before, but it seems like it probably wasn't too terrible an idea. Because that coin is a weird colour compared to the rest of them. There's a piece switch required down there by the looks of it, but I that was a bad idea. I committed to the normal jump and that was not how the best approaches are to go. You guys are kind of scary, you know that? Just a little bit. That plant looks sort of dead, I'm not gonna lie. Whoa! Glitchy graphic style there. That was kind of funky looking. Also pretty cool, I suppose, but definitely funky looking. This pipe is suspicious and Clearly you can go down it for lots of coins if you so desire. Is that really it? That seems like something you would put in World 1 as opposed to this world. But anyway, I guess that is all it is for, and that is the end of the normal exit right there, huh? Go figure, that didn't really feel like World 6 in comparison to everything else we've done so far, but oh well. That's definitely not something I'm complaining about, because what we've done so far has been really sort of a bit maniacal, so yeah. Looks like secret exit time, and well, there's a couple of places that we can go because, uh, yeah, that just sort of is, because there is where we've got to take the key at the very least, so you, sir, are being a little bit of a pain in the ass, so I would appreciate you just, yeah going ahead and doing exactly what you did. I'm sort of surprised we could make it back through there. I wasn't uh, wasn't expecting to be able to do that when I was big, but... Uh, oh, yeah, that's annoying. Whatever. That's how the game is going to be. There probably isn't any point in killing him, because I, blah, I probably do need to do other stuff with that. There's in Get the Peace Switch that's down here. Yeah, I didn't take the bottom route last time because I was like, hey, let's change up my plans and go the top route this time, and I didn't actually need to do that. I could have just gone down the bottom route and have seen, hey, there's a B switch involved, but then we sort of knew that from later on in the level anyway, so it didn't really make too much of a difference in the end, is what I am trying to say. Eventually. That's where the key is, so I do actually need to go back to this. I thought it was going to be a lot more complicated than this. Wow, this this game is actually not always about super ridiculous stuff. It sometimes is just a basic old fun time. Yeah, looking forward to that to reality being completely and utterly decimated in every way, shape or form. That was pretty dumb. I'm pretty geniusly good at video games sometimes, you know. You may not have really noticed that, but I'm pretty good at video games. <laughs> Just taking the hits because we can, and that lets us get to a warp. Is this going to be too... Yes it is, it's going to be another level down here. Time up tunnels, that does not sound particularly family friendly, huh? You know what, let's give it a go, might as well. So, what's the deal here? Blue concrete blocks can be passed through by enemies, but not Mario. Red ones drain your time quickly. Okay, so the idea is to do that. So that you can get a thing to appear up here and do not stay in the red. That is the core 
lesson to learn here. What? Oh, that's your deal. Fair enough. Let's uh, take that as a reality. And, well, I see what we need to... I, do I see what we need to do here? I don't know if I do see what we need to do here, but maybe what we need is to have this reality happen and... Uh, what did that actually do for us in the end? I don't even know what that does for us. I know I need to hit the silver switch in order to hit that so that I can... Right, okay, so... Oh, yuck. Um, I see what you're trying to get me to do here and I don't know if I like it. Yeah, because that's what I expected, and then we go ahead and die. Yeah, fantastic. So, the idea, obviously, is that the time there, we're not supposed to be on the red blocks very much, because that's going to kill our time. But, you've also then got to balance that with the ability to actually move around in places in the first instance. I didn't actually mean to press up on my controller there, but it's one of those crappy cross paddy things and that sometimes happens so yeah still not immediately sure oh no wait no that's just to get the power up isn't it because otherwise those block no, those would be blocks yeah okay and if you hit them from hit the uh, blocks from no the red things on the underside as well that also messes up or well, maybe what you're trying to ah oh, you did no don't stand on it that's the worst thing you can do Maybe what they're trying to get me to do is actually to just fall off and die because the jump button doesn't work fast enough because you don't press it fast enough. No, maybe what he's trying to get me to do is to use the uh, piece, the P block in order to um, not have to touch the red things there because there were coins above the red blocks there so maybe that's what is happening here. That would make sense. Which, for this game, is quite a miracle, I know, but... For some reason, though, these P-blocks are not nearly as annoying to me as uh, regular P-switches. Maybe one I need to work on here is that, so that I can get down. But yeah, these uh, P-blocks are very quick timing-wise. I didn't know where I was going to go in the end, but yeah, the, the blocks are very quick to run out. But maybe because they're infinite and because they're locked in place that I really am not particularly annoyed by them ever when they show up. It's just a case sometimes of, uh, are you seriously expecting me to do that much in that short of time? But usually it's not too bad. Like here, this is not really that difficult for it. It's just trying to work out where you're supposed to go afterwards because you can hit the switch and that's fine but like what do you do after hitting the switch? That's what... You can do that if you want. Sure, just be a dick like that. Why not? But yeah, it's, uh, it's not too bad. This one though I'm not so sure on because that happens quite a bit and it's like ah do not want that's taking up all of my time okay so you've just got oh jesus you really do have to be proper quick here and proper precise too that is something i have not yet been is precise Oh, goodness. Um, yeah, good luck doing this if you're big. Pretty sure that's half the idea, right? Um, you, sir, were being highly unpredictable for some reason, even though you weren't really being unpredictable at all. I just couldn't work out what you were doing. Because I'm pretty good at video games sometimes. Yeah, that's that, that joke's been done far too many times already, and it's not even mine to start with, so... I don't know why I insist on using it so, but I do, so uh, deal with it I guess, I don't know, it doesn't really seem like a very nice way of putting it, but then again, who said you have to be nice all the time, eh? I don't know. So yeah, we're hitting switches, and switches are going to hit themselves, I should probably have just took the hit 
there because that would have made this easier, but I didn't, so looks like I am going to have to struggle through this. Uh, yeah, I really should have just taken the hit there. But that is how it goes. Uh, sometimes time just stops on these things instead, and I don't quite understand how that works. We honestly have to go over these here, don't we? Um, I get the feeling something else was supposed to be able to happen here, but it hasn't. So, yeah. I need to hit this. Because that gets me a cape, and that is pretty freaking special. Capes, they're fairly useful when you're dealing with this sort of thing. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. You could say that is a worthy sacrifice of some description. <laughs> that was cool. I must admit, I kind of uh, didn't really do very much with it, but that was cool. Wow, two freaking shells going all over the place there, and that's in the midpoint already. That's good going, I approve of that. That spike top doesn't know what the hell, and I don't know either. I actually don't know what position I want this in. Ooh. Oh, this is cool in its own right, actually. The idea, if you didn't have a cape, especially, the idea would be to use the, um, the spike tops to actually um, get across this without... Uh, too much of a hindrance, but yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, it's all about managing your time, and that is the important thing: is not to linger for very long, which is why I am doing this the exact way which I am. Um, probably need to have the switch on down there or something that would um that would help, you know, get the get the switch off. Um. How's this supposed to work? I guess I can take you out by doing that, and then you by doing that. So that helps to get rid of the riffraff at the very least. Um, I could get rid of you as well, I could do with doing that, just in case. You're a very confused little dude, do you know that? <laughs> yeah, they're just like passing through water there or something. There is the end. Seriously? The end? of this thing is like right there. Okay, well that actually makes sense because although we have a generous time limit for this level, the idea is that it's um, supposed to be quickly drained by going through stuff. Like, how the hell are you supposed to make it there? That's just mean. Like, how were you supposed to get there in time? Maybe if I was quicker at the water bit, but I don't see how I could be. Oh wait, there's a shell there. Maybe I can see if I can get Mr. the Cooperman down here and not run out of time. You know what, that that's just is that not just for like a bonus thing anyway? I don't even know what is in there, but I'm sort of interested now and well I could just finish this level. But at the same time, I'm sort of curious, so I'm going to put a state down here because I want to try and get in there, but knowing full well that I could just finish this level. And, uh, yeah, clearly the cape is not necessarily the best tool of use here, but maybe with the shell, my idea, uh, if I can get down again, my idea is that the shell should give me enough speed that I can get across and read what is it what is in that box. So yeah. It hey, that I just gotta be quicker about and obviously just about running out of time. Oh, so here, oh my goodness, you've got to be able to do this. This is definitely something which is in the border of the doable. I know I can do this. This is not impossible, but of course my time is getting quite low simply because I keep on doing this, right? But yeah, that's not going to be it either. This is definitely doable. And I'm fully justified, I think, in putting this state down if I do. Need it, but I don't. Because... There we go. Really now? That's what it means. Huh. 
I don't actually know, but I think I might be able to... Again, this is one of those situations where I'm tempted to put the state down so that I can try. Okay, I'm gonna put that again down there. I'm just going to finish the level as it is. And then I'm going to give that a go, and I'm going to choose a different state to save on that one. Because I, I'm curious now. Because clearly that's what that does, it just takes it to there, which is fine. So I'm going to... When I remember what button is what, I'm going to select here, going to save that state, go back and give this a go, I suppose. Let's see if it let's see how it works. How I can if I can do it. Aha! There we go! But you needed all the coins as well in order to get the second extra moon. But that's okay! We managed to do it first time too! That was pretty nice! Yeah, I like that level! It's very interesting in gimmick terms, and that was that was quite a nice uh, bonus there too. Yeah, I like that! That was worth doing! However, I think considering what I ended up doing with that there, which actually turned out to be needless save states, but what I ended up doing there with the first level means that's probably enough for one part here, so let's not dampen the mood here. This has been Game of Cow playing Super Mario World Production Central, and join us next time when we go into what may or may not have secret exits. I do or do not know. I don't actually know. So, um, yeah, that's going to be interesting.